What's going on guys and welcome back. We are here up at Southside Sales and Service and we have behind me our Indy 9R project. So I only opened up this video and let you guys know what we're gonna be doing. And now, like I said in the first video, we're gonna do a series. So like this video is gonna be uh, removing this engine and all of its components. Next one will be installing the 9R engine. And then the one after that will be getting it running, firing it up, running it on a stand, and then uh, waiting for snow to come back. So. Here, as we talked about in the previous video, it's a 2023 XER 136, uh, 16 Cobra track. And uh, this is our donor sled for our 9R project. So again, we're gonna be taking everything out and I'm gonna kind of go through, not 100% step-by-step, but just kind of give you guys the brief overview of how to get this engine out and uh, so on and so forth. Now, there has been some leg work done. The last time I was up here, we did some removing of stuff, but not a ton. Uh, pretty much the battery. This was an electric start model. We're not going with an electric start on this 9R project. You know, we're going true, true race form here. So pull start. So battery tray, battery was all taken out. Electric start motor and engine, everything was taken out. Um, because as I was not up here, Bruce had some suspension work done, or the guys pulled his shocks out and everything. So Bruce could do that. But we're going to touch on that in a later video. Um, I already had all the clutches dismounted before you know in the last video so pretty much right now we're going to start with getting the exhaust out we're going to get the power valves out which are these allen heads focus not these you're going to have the allen heads we're going to pull all that out we're going to pull the y pipe off uh we're going to we got to pull this oil reservoir out we have to pull the top of the clutch guard out uh we're going to pull this whole rear console off too just to have a little bit more room which all those bolts are already out so we're just gonna little by little start pulling this thing apart and as i get to certain stages i will stop and i'll, I'll let you guys know kind of what we did and how we got to where we are but pretty much that's really where we're gonna start i have the gopro set up there so it's gonna be a little time lapse thing with some music so um, i know some of you guys like that some of you guys hate that but uh yeah so we're gonna start exhaust first y pipe Mm, uh, exhaust valves, oil cooler, and or oil cooler. What am I talking about? Oil reservoir, and uh, go from there. All right, guys. So it's time to make a mess now. So exhaust is out. Power rails are out, y, but, well, y pipes out. Uh, we have Rick here, uh, gold mechanic from Southside Sales and Service. Great guy, helps me out all the time. He's here to make a mess with me. So uh, next step is pulling this bottom coolant line off. And uh, there's not really a good way to do it according to Rick, and Rick does these all the time. Yes, I do. So he's got this 45 foot long <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> And we have a mess. Now that that hose is done and out of the way, like you just moved it, um, I'm gonna come over here to the oil reservoir um, and take these bolts out. They're obviously the line on the back of it, which he brought over a nice little handy dandy cap so that doesn't leak all over the place. The line will just sit there. Um, and then this actually has a uh, T25 right there. So we already unhooked that. So once we get that done, there's a wire tie right there. We'll pull that whole uh, intake oil reservoir. We'll take this top mount off. We gotta undo the two that are going into the ECU and that whole top section will come off and we'll be moving along. 
So Rick was just over here and before he leaves and I forget what he told me. So you have all these connections. There were three, one, two, three stacked on top of each other. They all obviously have to come unplugged and they actually push them. Well, that top one stays like that. And these two bottom ones actually push out the backside and they come out because they all go with everything. I believe that one stays. You have these two that push little Christmas tree pins that push into your air box. They need to come out because obviously we have to get that air box out. And next in line are these uh, fuel lines here. So these two will come off. Uh, I got to finish getting the, the oil tank out because we got distracted. And then we're going to start trying to get this air box out. Now, he told me it's a real pain in the, you know, what to do. So I'll probably recruit him back over here to do that. Obviously, you have to get the top of the um, belt guard out. And then we have to undo these, which he said there's two clips on each side. He said be very careful with them. Make sure you clip them because if not, that's your main wiring harness. Go on your ECU and that's going to be a really bad day if you screw that up. So I'm going to get this out. We'll get the remainder of the clutch guard off for the belt guard. We have to get this bracket here. Uh, there's a T40 right there. It's a pain in the butt. So he brought me this trick little, very, very flush mounted torque bit machine. So. So whole top section's off, and I did lie to you, that top one does leave. So those are pulled out, like I said, disconnected them. And now what's our next step, Rick? Uh, now we're gonna move forward and remove these wires. There's a couple uh, zip ties. I cut a couple of zip ties without you. Uh, so we're gonna remove these wires from here. Uh, also, we can make another mess since we're right here. Yeah, I did touch base on pulling them out. Um, They make them really nice though. They do. The top one's handy, the bottom one is a little bit of a pain. Okay, so those are disconnected. Usually I'll pull these wires around. Yeah, because they all go with the They're engine. They're gonna go with the engine when we, we get to that point. So from here, since we're in the mood of uh, cutting some wires, there's some zip ties probably not the wires yeah probably not the wires we cut those two and then we've got one in here so at this point i would take and remove all of our wiring going to the pbr any special one on this uh so no you know i usually just work from from this side of the machine that way it doesn't right really no i mean taking them off uh, taking off it's same just idea one just one one push pin here mm -hmm. on on all three connectors uh make sure you've got it depressed because if you don't you could be looking at needing right. a just like going to the ecm these are same, ju same just thing. as important yeah, every, every bit is important and then we've got one more here with a a tang so now this is all disconnected from here uh, we got two 10 mils holding the PBR in, one one here, one on the other side. We'll remove that because we need the clearance to, do the to get box. the air box out. Um, so. All right, so we're gonna get there and then come back when we gotta get the air box out. <laughs> so, you know, from here, now the PBR out of the way, uh, we can disconnect our coil wires. So there's a little tang right here. And a three eighths, and we will remove the, the coils. Coils from the top of the box. Of the box. Okay, so we're gonna loosen the two clamps, obviously going to your throttle bodies. He rolled this harness up for clearance, and then he's gonna show us some tricks he said there's no video of this in pliers trainer or anything he said it might not look scary doing it but he said it feels scary 
So now I'm interested. So usually I will loosen the clamps up and then slide them slide the off, clamps off, actually the boot, off yep. onto the throttle body. Um, I'll, once I start to move the box, I'll stop and show you why you don't want to leave them there. So we gotta get that off and just the way. It's actually not folding up too bad. Usually the boots will kind of fold like that. Yeah. And if you leave the clamp on, you can either cut the boot mm -hmm. or damage the clamp. Right. Leave it in place. And you could take the overstructure off, and that makes it much easier. But oh yes, but it's a serious project. Yeah, it's way more work. So we opted for. All right, so from outsider looking in, it didn't look that bad. <laughs> I, when we go to put it back in, I'll let you put yeah, it in. Yeah, no, I don't think, I, I think I would have rather taken it out than put it in. <laughs> and then you take your clamps off. Don't drop them. Well, if there's ever a time to drop them, pull them apart. It's yeah. Fine. All right, so then where do you go from here? So coolant from here, line. we got a coolant, this coolant line can stay. This clamp comes off. Uh, and then we also got a zip tie down here. We got a cup and Basically, that's just holding the throttle cable a little in place. Yeah, in place. And we're gonna take the, the jam nut off, get the throttle cable out of the way, and then from here we got a couple more uh, miscellaneous. We, we got a couple of miscellaneous sensors. We got a debt sensor. We got a disconnect. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, we got one more hose on the other side. We got to pull off. Then we're gonna pull the motor mounts, lift the engine up a little bit. And then we're going to get the oil pump disconnected from the holder down below. Mm -hmm. And then it's going well, while, while we're here, what's your best bet or motor mount loosening? Where are you going from? Uh, it really doesn't make much difference. Um, I'm going to pull this bolt, that bolt there. There's another bolt back here. It's easier to get from the other side? Um, usually I'll get it from right here. Oh, okay. Uh, and then there's two T40s that we'll get below, basically. And they come up through right here. And there's another one you can see the top of it. Yeah, I can see right them. here. Yeah, I'll get those from here. below. Uh, you don't want to try to pull this nut here. You'll you'll fight with it for hours, and it's just not worth your time. No, no it's not. All right, but. so I'm gonna put the camera down, and we're gonna get a bunch of this stuff done, and then I'll fill you guys in on where we are. All right, guys. So after some 13 millimeter uh, socket drivers, we are loose and ready to come out. So now we're gonna move it and then get to the oil pump connection. So Rick is gonna. Which, big shout out to Rick, because I was supposed to do this myself. Which everyone's going to be like, why didn't you do it yourself? But Rick actually has some free time, so he's giving me a hand. And it's better for me to hold the camera and show what he's doing than try and do it all myself. So this is probably wanna, you want to come on this side? Yeah, you'll, you'll probably only be able to see it from here. So, oil pump lives in that holder. So what's it just push in there, I guess? Yeah, once uh, once the engine's on the on the bench over there, I can get you a better look at okay. what the holder looks like. But yeah, it basically it kind of just snaps into here. Huh. And all the lines are in where they need to go already. So let's make some room on this bench, which we were or we were very organized up until about five minutes ago. Just like that, we have an 850 on a bench, and we got so, and then there's a we got an open look. hole here. Oh yeah, so just oh, it kind of, I got it. Yeah, it's got two two ends that stick in here, and then the the back side of the pump just pops in. Well, well, engine on a bench. Well, guys, that's uh, removing an 850 or 650 from a matrix chassis. 
and <laughs> honestly we've, it's been what an hour yeah it's about an hour 15 minute job usually to get it out yeah and uh now we just go through clean a couple things up and uh now we have room for our 9r which is sitting on this crate over here which that'll be next video of getting it in there getting everything set up and rerouted and everything um <clears throat> it's all happening while i'm up here this time so rick will be here to give me a hand get that thing in there and then we fire it but uh guys that is gonna do it for this one um super exciting i know everyone wants to see this project so we're working as fast as we can on it again i don't really have anywhere to ride it right now so we're gonna kind of stare at it and watch it go around on this on the stand but uh that's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll check you guys in the next one.